Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of battle through the heavens episode number 87 based on novel. So let's start. The black clouds covered the sun and lingered in the sky above the valley. The originally clear sky had turned dark almost instantaneously. The strange black fog seemed to be something where even sunlight had difficulty penetrating. Countless numbers of sharp ear-piercing cries reverberated unceasingly within the valley. Dense spirits penetrated the black fog, appearing like evil ghosts that remained hidden during the night. Their blood-red eyes appeared exceptionally sinister within the dark environment, everyone, be careful, these are spiritual bodies that are controlled by them. Xiao Yang's expression sank slightly as he looked at the souls lingering in the sky. Finally he cried out in a deep voice. Sumai and the other experts were also shocked at this unexpected change. They immediately rushed to Xiao Yang's side. Their eyes revealed a solemnness as they looked at the dense black cloud in the sky. The closely packed randomly dancing spirits caused their heads to feel numb. In order to successfully capture you, this protector has put in sufficient capital. These are the souls successfully gathered by me after three full years. The formation that is created by them can be considered to be worthy of all of you. Protector Xian looked at the spreading black clouds from the mountain wall and sinisterly laughed. Xiao Yang's eyes narrowed as he looked at the black cloud that had spread across the sky. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that this black fog hid many spirits. The density and number caused even him to gently inhale a breath of air. It looks like this protector, Xian, had really invested in this plan. This so-called 10,000 soul-swallowing formation required a large number of spirits. Back then, even in the Chuyun Empire, that protector Tai from the Hall of Souls was far from able to meet the requirements of creating such a large formation, he he, Xiao Yang, are you satisfied with the feast this time around? Once you fall to the hands of the Hall of Souls, I will make a request for me to properly take care of you. Han Feng's face was covered with a ferocity as he laughed loudly at Xiao Yang. Xiao Yang glanced at him before his gaze returned to the spreading black cloud. This so-called 10,000 soul-swallowing formation clearly possessed an incredible strength. It was likely somewhat troublesome to break blood feed. The black fog around Protector Xian on the mountain wall was slowly withdrawn. Finally, it transformed into a vague black figure with a blurry appearance. With a flick of his finger, waves of bright red fresh blood spat out and scattered into the black cloud. Following the scattering of the fresh blood, threads of a strange dark red color immediately rose within the black-colored fog. A countless number of sharp cries were emitted from within it. The spirits that were being mercilessly tortured started to churn and struggle within. A moment later, the black cloud suddenly paused. It was silent for an instant before many fierce blood-colored spirits scattered down like a storm. Their faces were filled with savage a bloodthirsty expression as they shot toward Xiao Yang's group, be careful. The little fairy doctor and Su Qian beside Xiao Yang did not move immediately. Instead, they were frowning as they looked at the dense black cloud. With their eyesight, they were naturally able to discover that with an increasing number of spirits being killed, the strength contained within the cloud layer seemed to become stronger, this formation, is somewhat unusual, Xiao Yang flicked his five fingers. Five flames shot out from them and incinerated five spirits into nothingness. He looked at the five extremely faint grayish vapors that were rising when he knit his brows and softly spoke, the formidability of this formation is not the endless spiritual attacks. Actually, they are merely food. Each time a spirit is killed, a pure spiritual strength is absorbed by the black cloud. With the gathering of an increasing amount of spiritual strength, a fierce spirit that is agglomerated from the tens of thousands of brutal spirits will appear in the cloud layer. This fierce spirit will be connected with Protector Xian's spirit. In other words, this fierce spirit would be an avatar of Protector Xian. Moreover, its strength would definitely not be weaker than him. Of course, if the avatar is destroyed, Protector Xian would also suffer a serious backlash. If he is unable to endure it, he would at the very least fall to the Dou Huang class. Should things be more serious, his mind might be occupied by the fierce spirit and turn into a puppet that only knows how to kill. Su Qian's eyes stared intently at the black cloud above his head. He continued in a deep voice, moreover, from what I know, each time one uses such a large formation, the number of spirits one exhausts is not small. Normally speaking, very few people from the Hall of Souls would use such a formation. This is because if one is unable to obtain a reward equivalent to these spirits, after using the formation, they would definitely suffer a serious punishment by the Hall of Souls. 
That taste is worse than death, little fellow, the fallen heart flame is the nemesis of spirits. Ordinary spirits try to run from it as quickly as possible. You actually have a headache. The presence of two kinds of heavenly flame in your body is indeed something that even the old me never expected. The heavenly flames that is formed after the merger might be stronger than the fallen heart flame in terms of strength. However, it is also this kind of merger that weakens a little of the unique spirit-destroying effect of the fallen heart flame. Have you not noticed that any spirit that was killed by this kind of flame by you would have a much fainter spiritual strength fleeing from it compared to the others? If you were to purely use the fallen heart flame, these spirits will be turned into nothingness. Not even a little of it will escape. Of course, you must remember to use the flame controlling skill of the five ring flame expelling technique when you control the fallen heart flame. Otherwise, how would you be able to deal with so many spirits with your crude flame controlling method? A soft, old voice suddenly sounded in Xiao Yang's heart while he was deep in thought. Xiao Yang's finger involuntarily rubbed the snow white ring on his finger when he heard this voice. A glow flickered in his eyes. Being the former owner of the fallen heart flame, the understanding that Tian Huazunzhe had over it naturally far exceeded what Xiao Yang could compare with. Thank you Elder Yao. Tian Hua is more like a nickname. His surname is Yao. Xiao Yang's heart carried joy as he thanked Tian Huazunzhe. After which, a thought passed through his heart. The jade green flame that was lingering around his body paled swiftly. The invisible fallen heart flame replaced it. Following the appearance of this invisible flame, the blood-colored spirits, charging over from all directions, without knowing what fear was actually revealed a thread of fear within their violent eyes, it is indeed effective. A joy rose in Xiao Yang's heart when he saw this. The seal on his hand suddenly changed and the invisible flame surged out of his body. Finally, it followed the change of his hand seal and formed a wolf-shaped fire spirit that was over a hundred feet large above his head. After this wolf fire spirit took shape, the blood-colored spirits that spread across the sky suddenly formed an uneasy commotion. Their charging momentum was also no longer as fearless as it was earlier. Fallen heart flame. Rat, I underestimated you. It is unexpected that you are able to control it to such an extent. Following this large-scale massacre by the wolf-shaped fire spirit, the dark black cloud that contained traces of dark redness began to churn. A shocked, furious cry was transmitted from it. Xiao Yang ignored the angry cry of Protector Xian. He focused his mind on controlling the enormous wolf-shaped fire spirit. This was the first kind of fire spirit from the five-ring flame expelling technique. With Xiao Yang's current spiritual strength, he naturally did not need to exhaust too much strength to form it. However, the remaining fire spirits became harder and harder to train. Once he succeeded, however, the strength from the gathering of the five kinds of fire spirit would be quite frightening. Although this was merely the first kind of fire spirit, Xiao Yang was extremely satisfied with its strength after the test earlier. This five-ring flame expelling technique was indeed worthy of being the dose skill that Tian Huazunzhe made his name with. Such a profound flame controlling technique was likely the most advanced one that Xiao Yang had seen, with the exception of Yao Lao's abilities. Black clouds churned in the air. A blood-red color faintly seeped down from it. At a glance it appeared to be filled with a strange gloominess. Having lost the supplement from the many spirits, the pressure that was spreading from the black cloud slowly came to a stop. Screeches were repeatedly emitted from the churning black cloud, brat, the strength of the fallen heart flame, has indeed exceeded the expectations of this protector. However, you should not naively think that you can break the 10,000 soul-swallowing formation in this manner. Protector Xian's sinister laughter was suddenly emitted from the permeating black cloud, blood spirit poison. A blood glow suddenly soared from within the dark black cloud, after Protector Xian's cold laughter sounded. Sharp ear-piercing cries were emitted. There was even a faint chewing sound that caused one's paws to open, that fellow has got all the spirits to devour each other. If this continues, a fierce spirit will appear. Su Qian's expression was solemn. He could not help, but speak in a deep voice as he looked at the strange black-red cloud layer. He sensed the shockingly violent emotion that was being emitted from it. Xiao Yang knit his brows slightly. He did not give a reply as his hand seal was quickly formed. Numerous illusionary after images appeared. An instant later, his hand seal suddenly paused and his mouth cried out softly, Go! Having received Xiao Yang's powerful support, the invisible flame on the body of the wolf-shaped fire spirit once again soared by over ten feet. Its enormous mouth widened and an extremely hot flame shot toward Protector Xian. 
Protector Xian's heart tightened a little as he sensed the invisible ripple contained within his heart. The Fallen Heart Flame's special searing effect on spirits, along with Xiao Yang's profound flame controlling technique, caused its strength to soar greatly. Hence, even Protector Xian did not wish to face it head on. The black fog on Protector Xian's body swiftly spread out as this thought appeared in his heart. His body immediately paused and was hidden within the layers of black cloud in a ghost like manner. The invisible fire pillar did not strike Protector Xian. Instead, it shot into the black cloud and relied on its frightening temperature to tear a 70 to 80 foot wide hole within the dark black cloud. Xiao Yang's group narrowed their eyes as their sight penetrated the empty hole. They could only see dense spirits swallowing each other like hungry wolves within the cloud layer. That manner was just like poison worms within a box, where they mercilessly killed and ate their companion in order to enable themselves to be the last survivor. Following this endless swallowing of each other, frightening fierceness, violence, and other negative emotions surfaced. That cloud layer breed and spread. Xiao Yang and the others could vaguely sense that a fierce spirit was being swiftly formed within it explode. Xiao Yang's face was somewhat dark and solemn. His hand was suddenly clenched and the invisible fire pillar that had shot into the cloud layer exploded with a bang. A hot fire wave spread out. Any spirit that made contact with it was transformed into nothingness. After this large-scale destruction by the fallen heart flame, the dark redness within the black cloud seemed to have become paler. Clearly, the attack by Xiao Yang earlier had destroyed a lot. Rat, you have destroyed nearly a thousand spirits. This protector will get you to pay this debt after this is over. However, just you alone cannot stop the fierce spirit from being created. Protector Xian's dark, cold voice was slowly transmitted while the cloud layer churned. Protector Xian's voice had just sounded when four unusually powerful spiritual ripples suddenly appeared within the cloud layer. They were like fierce tigers entering the mountains as they charged into the mess of spirits, before swallowing wildly, these four spirits are spirits, that this protector, had spent great efforts, during these three years to obtain. They are all experts at the peak of the Dou Huang class when they were alive. Their spiritual strengths are unusually strong. Originally, I could not bear to take them out. However, looking at this situation, one green and one invisible flame floated in front of Xiao Yang. They immediately began to merge. Threads of sparks shot out when the flames were merging. A moment later, a jade green fire lotus appeared in Xiao Yang's hand. With Xiao Yang's current strength, using this kind of angry Buddha lotus flame, formed from the merger of two kinds of heavenly flame, was extremely relaxing and easy. The flames were successfully merged. Xiao Yang was just about to throw it when Tian Huazunzha's voice suddenly sounded within his heart, wait, don't destroy that fierce spirit. Xiao Yang frowned slightly when he heard this. He spoke within his heart, old Mr. Yao, what do you mean? If that fierce spirit were to be successfully formed, the number of elite Dou Zongs on the other side will exceed ours. The current you has not recovered your strength. Tian Huazunzha laughed. His voice contained a fiery heat, just leave this fierce spirit to me. This great amount of spiritual strength that has been accumulated will be a great tonic to me. If I can swallow and refine it, my spiritual strength would likely be able to recover to the Dou Zong class. Xiao Yang's brows were slightly lifted. After which, his hand slowly descended. If Tian Huazunzha were able to recover to the Dou Zong class, it would definitely be a great help to him in the future. Old Mr. Yao, do you have the confidence to do it? That fierce spirit is agglomerated from countless numbers of brutal emotions. If you were to swallow it, it would likely end up influencing your mind, Xiao Yang hesitated for a moment before speaking. That is why I need to trouble you. Once I subdue it in the future, I will need to borrow your fallen heart flame. Tian Huazunzha laughed out loud. Xiao Yang quietly sighed in relief within his heart. He smiled said, there is naturally no problem with this. In that case, I will rely on Elder. Xiao Yang, quick, the fierce spirit is about to be formed. Su Qian by the side saw that Xiao Yang had remained still after merging the flame. He involuntarily urged him on. If this evil spirit were to be formed, it was likely that he and everyone present would die. Xiao Yang recovered after hearing Su Qian's voice. He smiled to the latter before raising his head to look at the churning black clouds. He slowly said, First elder need not worry. That fierce spirit won't be able to do much. After Xiao Yang's voice slowly sounded, the churning cloud in the sky suddenly stiffened amid an incomparably sharp screech. A despotic aura slowly descended from above. 
The proud wild laughter of Protector Xian resounded over the sky at this moment, reverberating in an ear-piercing manner across the entire area. Xiao Yang, if you obediently surrender today, this protector will allow you to suffer less. Su Qian and the little fairy doctor, by the side also knit their brows slightly, as they sensed the fierceness that was spreading from the black cloud. They did not understand why Xiao Yang did not act earlier. Did he really feel confident enough to finish off this fierce spirit? Who would a strength that was sufficient to contend with an elite dozone? The little fairy doctor might not understand this within her heart, but she had exceptional trust in Xiao Yang. She knew that given Xiao Yang's character, he would definitely not do something so foolish, everyone, be careful. Xiao Li's expression was also solemn. He waved his hand toward everyone and cried out softly. Without needing a reminder from Xiao Li, the Dou Qi within everyone's body was circulated at their maximum speed. Powerful Dou Qi lingered over the surface of their bodies without scattering. The numerous colors radiating out gave the area an extremely beautiful appearance. The size of the human figure was similar to an ordinary person. The blood color that spread over its body was exceptionally dark and gloomy. It appeared as though an unimaginable number of parts had been agglomerated from fresh blood. There was a feeling discharging from it that caused one's head to feel a dense coldness. Additionally, this somewhat illusionary human figure did not possess a face. Only a pair of blood-colored eyes shot out from the spot where the head was located. The blood-colored eyes did not register even the slightest emotion that a human possessed. Only a kind of endless violence and killing intent was present. This thing was basically a monster that was born to kill. Xiao Yang and the others watched this blood-colored human figure. Their brows were slightly knit. Was this that so-called fierce spirit? It was indeed very powerful. If one were to be contaminated by that violence and other negative emotions that could influence one's mind, it was likely that there would be a lot of trouble. Although these words appeared to have been spoken to everyone, Protector Xian's eyes merely paused on Su Qian and the little fairy doctor. Clearly, the only people who could cause him to feel fear among those present were these two individuals. Su Qian and the little fairy doctor naturally ignored these words of his. The two of them exchanged looks before gently exhaling. Two mighty auras suddenly surged. Sensing the pressure of this powerful force, some of the experts, who had come forward to lend a hand from behind Xiao Yang finally relaxed their tensed hearts a little. Experts of the Dou Zone class were existences that could make others feel safe regardless of where they were. Protector Xian, you should not show such mercy to these fellows who intend to seek death. These people are those that will not cry until they are about to die. Han Feng's face involuntarily revealed a smile upon seeing Protector Xian successfully agglomerating the fierce spirit. He raised his head and laughed loudly. In that case, it looks like this Protector can only reluctantly accept the spirits belonging to two experts of the Dou Zone class. If I were to possess these two spirits along with the two kinds of heavenly flames within Xiao Yang's body, whose credit can be greater than mine when I return to the hall this time around. Protector Xian spoke sinisterly. Han Feng smiled. His gaze was savage as he stared at Xiao Yang and said, My good junior. If you had continued to hide in the Jiannan Academy, I would have been unable to do anything to you. However, you delivered yourself to this place. You cannot blame this senior for being tough. Xiao Yang glanced at Han Feng as he softly said, A mere dog that has lost its home. This only allows you to live for a little longer. There is no need to be this happy. Sek Li Mo, do you really think that this little fellow will be able to escape alive this time around? I have said that I have also dabbled a little in poisons, and will definitely help expel the poison from your son after this is over. Why do you want to place yourself in a risky position, because of a little fellow in decline? Han Feng glanced at Mo Tianxing and laughed coldly after sensing Xiao Yang's gaze. In this current battleground, Xiao Yang's side could barely contend against three elite dozongs in total. Han Feng's side, on the hand, would have four experts equivalent to a dozong even after excluding Mo Tianxing. At a glance, it appeared that Han Feng had obtained the upper hand. Hence, at this moment, Mo Tianxing's position was extremely important. If he were to help Han Feng's group, the chances of Xiao Yang's group being victorious would be extremely low. However, if he were to help Xiao Yang, the number of experts of both parties would be even. The helper that Han Feng had spent great effort to invite over would be meaningless. Mo Tianxing also knew his use in the battleground at this moment. However, he still maintained an expressionless face. He naturally also understood that if one were to look at the battleground on the surface, it would appear that Xiao Yang's group was at a disadvantage. However, 
the cautious him was unwilling to join any group in such a random manner. Although he clearly understood that Xiao Yang currently had the strength of a six-star Dou Huang, Mo Qianxing still felt an exceptional fear for him. The degree of fear he felt even exceeded Su Qian and the little fairy doctor. After all, these two people did not have the ability to beat a seven-star Dou Zone class expert until he was nearly crippled. This thought swiftly flashed within Mo Tianxing's heart. A moment later, he smiled faintly and said, The matter today has become a little too big. The old me does not have the boldness of you young people. Hence, I shall not participate in these matters, Xiao Yang appeared to have not heard the conversation between Han Feng and Mo Tianxing. His body was just like the pole of a spear as he stood straight on the battleground. His finger gently fondled a snow white ring. A moment later, his chin nodded slightly without anyone noticing. After which, he turned to the little fairy doctor and Su Qian before speaking with a smile, Leave the fear spirit and protect a Xian to me. Su Qian and the little fairy doctor were startled when they heard this. The fear spirit and protector Xian were two elite Do Zones. Moreover, their spirits were connected to one another, allowing them to collaborate extremely well with one another. Unless Xiao Yang used the frightening Fire Lotus Do technique, it was impossible for him to battle with two elite Do Zones even with the bone wings enhancing his speed. Appearing to understand the shock in the hearts of the two of them, Xiao Yang waved his hand and softly laughed, Relax, I will not do something that will end up killing me. Seeing the smile on Xiao Yang's face, Su Qian and the little fairy doctor hesitated for a moment before nodding. With Xiao Yang's usual character, he did not appear to be a reckless person. Since he had said this, it was likely that he might really possess a trump card, Xiao Yang, you are really as arrogant as Han Feng described. However, it's fine. This protector likes it, Protector Xian was stunned for quite a while after hearing Xiao Yang's words from the sky. Only then did he involuntarily laugh out loud. Han Feng's brows were knit slightly. He looked at Xiao Yang somewhat uncertainly. This fellow what was he doing? He was actually challenging two elite Dou Zongs with his Dou Huang class strength. Was he not seeking death, first elder, little fairy doctor? I will leave the others to you, protector Xian's illusionary black figure stood somewhat unsteadily in the sky. His eyes were viciously glaring at Xiao Yang. Coarse breaths were repeatedly emitted from his mouth. A painful feeling occasionally appeared on his face. The waves of piercing pain that had been transmitted from his spirit caused him, someone who had suffered serious losses, to possess a nearly crazy impulse, return the fierce spirit to me. I can use my spirit to swear that I will leave immediately. If you are willing, I can even help you kill Han Feng, protector Xian's hand covered his forehead and softly roared. Han Feng's expression a short distance away also turned cold when he heard protector Xian's words. A killing intent flashed across his eyes. It was unexpected that this protector Xian would actually be this unreliable. Protector Xian, it is useless saying all this now. With Xiao Yang's character, he will definitely not return the fierce spirit to you. Hence, you might still stand a chance if you really risk your life and go all out against him. Han Feng glanced at Xiao Yang before speaking in a cold voice. Xiao Yang kept his indifferent manner in the face of Protector Xian's crazy eyes. He glanced at Han Feng and half smiled as he said, If you really kill Han Feng, I might give it some thought, I will act immediately if you return the fierce spirit to me. Protector Xian could not be bothered with other things. He hurriedly made another demand when he heard the suspiciousness from Xiao Yang's tone being reduced. However, he did not sense the gaze on his back full of killing intent. Xiao Yang's eyes smiled as they looked at Protector Xian. The ridicule in his eyes was becoming denser. Protector Xian finally understood that he had been tricked after having sensed the mocking gaze of Xiao Yang. The panting from his mouth grew more intense. The viciousness in his eyes also became denser. A moment later, a wild roar was finally emitted from his mouth, ten spirit envoys, kill him. The ten black figures on the mountain wall did not hesitate. They suddenly rushed forth after hearing Protector Xian's roar. Immediately, ten enormous dark black chains tore through the air like poison snakes. They shot toward Xiao Yang while emitting a clanging sound. Xiao Yang widened his mouth as he looked at the chains being shot over indifferently. He widened his mouth and a cluster of jade green flames was spat out. His hand moved and formed a seal. The flame wiggled and turned into ten large flame hands. They were violently clenched as they grabbed the chains. After which, a thread of hot jade green fire followed the chains and rushed toward the ten black figures, 
Honestly speaking this is the first time that I have formed a fierce spirit. Today, I will use you as an offering. Protector Xian coldly laughed when he saw Xiao Yang rushing over in a straight line. A thought passed through his mind and the blood-colored illusionary figure beside him suddenly rushed down in a lightning-like manner. Its fist carried a violent wind and a great pressure as it smashed at Xiao Yang. The fist had yet to arrive when the wind that was contained on it tore through the air and suddenly reached Xiao Yang. Xiao Yang's dark black eyes were firmly locked on the blood-colored human figure that was rushing over. The corner of his mouth was slowly lifted into a cold smile. The hand he wore the white ring on was slowly tightened before he swung it. Xiao Yang actually chose the most disadvantageous head-on confrontation when faced with the attack of an elite dozong. Looking at this scene, the sword's drawn atmosphere below become dull. This fellow. Was he really seeking death? The instant many people's expression changed was also the instant that Xiao Yang's fist made contact with the fierce spirit. However, before the force could erupt, the snow white ring on his finger suddenly flickered and emitted a glaring glow. Protector Xian, who had a spiritual connection with the fierce spirit, changed expression the moment this powerful glow appeared. However, the aim of the fierce spirit escaping did not succeed. Tian Huazanzhe within the ring appeared to have the full intent of obtaining it. An unusually strong glow erupted and the suction force grew by a couple of times. The fierce spirit began to emit waves of frightened cries. Its body was just like a wild beast that was pressed under a rock as it struggled to flee. On top of feeling a joy in his heart, Xiao Yang involuntarily also felt shock as he watched this fierce spirit come closer and closer to the ring despite trying its best to escape. It was unexpected that Tian Huazanzhe was able to display such a skill in his condition. It seemed that he did hide something from Xiao Yang. At the very least, he was not without any ability to protect himself as he had claimed. Xiao Yang has to admit that he would have difficulty suppressing a spirit at the Dozong class in such an easy manner. Although, one could not exclude some unique skills of dealing with the fierce spirit that Tian Huazanzhe possessed, any kind of technique still required some self-preservation ability. Although Tian Huazanzhe might appear to be in a weak condition, anyone who dared to reveal an evil intention to him would likely find that the unlucky one was themselves. While this thought lingered in Xiao Yang's heart, Protector Xian in the sky also felt something regarding the situation of this fierce spirit. He immediately let out a furious roar as he changed the seal formed by his hand. Powerful spiritual strength surged out of the black fog. The resistance of the fierce spirit became increasingly strong with the intervention of Protector Xian. In the end, it began to gradually withdraw from the range of the suction force. Xiao Yang, lend me a hand. The powerful glow continued to erupt from the ring. However, in the face of the resistance of two dozongs, even Tian Huazanzhe was ultimately unable to resist them. A voice subsequently sounded within Xiao Yang's heart. Xiao Yang's heart tightened upon hearing this. Although he saw that Tian Huazanzhe had held back a little, he was still no match for the combination of the fierce spirit and protector Xian. He swiftly asked, How can I help you? Transfer your spiritual strength into the ring. Tian Huazanzhe did not say anything unnecessary at this critical moment as he swiftly replied. Xiao Yang's expression was solemn as he nodded. His eyes were immediately shut slightly as a powerful spiritual strength spread out from between his brows. It immediately surged into the snow white ring in an unceasing manner. The originally somewhat ancient jade ring had recovered its original white luster as it emitted a faint glow. With Xiao Yang's support, the suction force erupted from the ring immediately multiplied by a couple of times. After just having taken a couple of steps back, the fierce spirit staggered under the suction force that had erupted. Its body unsteadily pounced forward. However, in the next instant, it hurriedly maintained a strange stance and resisted with all its might. At this moment, its distance from Xiao Yang was merely half a meter. Xiao Yang could even sniff the wild violence its body gave off. Han Feng's expression at this moment was also unnaturally ugly. The cold smile that had surfaced earlier because of Xiao Yang's arrogant act had slowly stiffened since the strong light appear. No matter how he thought he was unable to think of what Xiao Yang could rely on to block the fierce spirit and protect a Xian. Han Feng knew that Xiao Yang's fire lotus dough technique was extremely powerful. However, the latter was clearly not using that kind of dough technique at this moment. However, the appearance of protector Xian and the fierce spirit caused his heart to gradually sink. The overwhelming confidence from earlier had been significantly reduced. Mo Tianxing by the side glanced at Han Feng without leaving a trace. 
A gloating expression flashed across his hearts. He had long said that one could not use common sense to deduce what Xiao Yang would do. If one became enemies with him, various unexpected changes would cause one to have difficulty defending. Actually, a guess had already appeared in his heart when Xiao Yang had decided to meet the fierce spirit and protector Xian Hedon. With his understanding of Xiao Yang, acting without thought was not something that this cautious fellow would do. It is fortunate that I did not get involved. He he, the old me should just treat this as watching a show. It is best to avoid participating in this kind of situation where the victor is unknown. Mo Tianxing's footsteps slowly withdrew as he laughed within his heart. This position was not far from the mountain wall. He would be able to leave at the first instance should any unexpected event occur. This careful old fellow was actually still considering his retreat path even at such a moment. He was indeed worthy of being a cunning old fox who had lived for so many years. Old Ying Shan. Do it. Kill Xiao Yang. A cold cry that was filled with killing intent sounded within this tense atmosphere. Immediately, Han Feng's figure suddenly shot to the sky and approached Xiao Yang within an instant. He clenched his fist and a sharp longsword that was agglomerated from Dou Qi surfaced from it. The longsword shook, carrying a clear sword hum as it violently pierced toward Xiao Yang's neck. The little fairy doctor struck and forced Han Feng back one blow at a time. She did not step forward and attack. Instead, she stood beside Xiao Yang. Her cold gaze remained locked on Han Feng. The little fairy doctor's white dress gently fluttered as she stood in the empty air. Her alluring graceful figure was vaguely visible underneath it, appearing quite enchanting. Her long snow-like hair extended to her narrow waist, a waist one could encircle with an arm. By combining this with her grayish-purple eyes, an unusual magical charm suddenly appeared and caused an unusual flicker to appear in the eyes of quite a number of people. This magical charm, however, caused the current and foam to be extremely furious when it appeared in his eyes. He clearly understood that the little fairy doctor was a little stronger than him. With her protecting Xiao Yang, it was going to be difficult for his attack to succeed. When he thought until this point, Han Feng could only throw his gaze to the spot where Protector Xian was located. Currently, all he could was hope that the latter could stop Xiao Yang's unusual tactic. Otherwise today, a frightening low roar was transmitted from within the cluster of black fog, after this thought flashed across Han Feng's heart, damn it, what are you planning to do? Han Feng's heart immediately became chilled when he heard this roar from Protector Xian. His gaze slid toward Xiao Yang, only to see the fierce spirit in front of him swiftly approaching him. After which, the chewing sound appeared. The spirit was absorbed into a white-colored ring on Xiao Yang's hand under that intense light. It is that ring that is doing this trick. Han Feng's heart immediately became surprised when he looked at the ring. However, with his strength, it was difficult for him to sense Tian Hu's under hidden within it. One could see the black fog around protector Xian churn intensely when the fierce spirit was absorbed into the ring. It swiftly became pale. A mere moment later, it revealed a black figure. At this moment, the figure was somewhat blurry. One could even sense a kind of illusionary feeling when looking at it. Its aura had also become much weaker and more chaotic compared to before. Clearly, after the fierce spirit, which had a spiritual connection with Protector Xian, was captured, the former had suffered a nearly fatal blow. His spirit was greatly wounded and the damage could be described as miserable. This point was something that one could tell from how difficult it was for the black fog to continue to hide his body. With Protector Xian's current condition, it was likely that even Xiao Yang would be able to capture him. One could tell. This Protector Xian was currently crippled. The glaring light suddenly disappeared. Protector Xian's frightened and furious roar sounded at the same time. Xiao Yang, return the fierce spirit to this protector. Otherwise, I will definitely let you die an extremely miserable. Xiao Yang completely ignored Protector Xian's furious roar. The fierce spirit had been connected to Protector Xian's spirit. Now that the fierce spirit had been captured, he would suffer an intense backlash. With his spiritual strength suffering a great blow, his strength would definitely decline. The current him already posed no problem and was nothing to be afraid of. At this moment, Xiao Yang's eyes were surprised as he stared at the white-colored ring on his hand. He could faintly see a bright redness on the ring's surface. However, Xiao Yang was unable to probe the ring to see the situation within it probably because of the ring itself, or Tianhua Xiao Yang, the fierce spirit has temporarily been sealed by me. 
However, the spiritual strength that I have stored is basically completely exhausted. The exhaustion this time around is too great, and I will soon descend into a slumber. You must definitely remember to help me repair and moisten my spirit within ten days. Otherwise, my spirit will likely be completely scattered. At that time, the fear spirit I have sealed will likely appear once again. Tian Huazunzhi's voice suddenly sounded in Xiao Yang's heart, while Xiao Yang was feeling surprise. This time around, his voice contained a kind of weakness that was difficult to hide. Despite subduing the fear spirit, the exhaustion he felt was immense. Xiao Yang was startled when he heard this. He hurriedly asked in his heart, within ten days. Old Mr. Yao, this is not a joke. Some of the medicinal ingredients required to repair a spirit are extremely difficult to find. Where would I go and find them within ten days? I am not asking you to completely heal my spirit within ten days. It is fine as long as you are able to get something to nourish my spirit and wake me up from my slumber. Tian Huazunzhi's voice immediately sounded in reply. Moreover, it was even more anxious. It seemed that he had little remaining time left. Xiao Yang only sighed in relief when he heard these words. It was not difficult to randomly get something to nourish one's spirit. He should be able to do that within ten days, old Mr. Yao, please rest assured that the little me will definitely summon you from your slumber within ten days. Xiao Yang spoke in a solemn voice. Although he could not trust Tian Huazunzhi completely like he trusted Yao Lao, Tian Huazunzhi's presence would really benefit Xiao Yang. Regardless of whether it was in terms of experience or training, these extremely old demons would be able to provide him with a lot of help, he he, the old me can rest assured with these words of yours. I'll leave it to you. This matter is extremely important. Tian Huazunzhi relaxed only after hearing Xiao Yang's reply. He and Xiao Yang might have only been acquainted for a short period of time, but his old, sharp eyes were able to tell a little about Xiao Yang's character. It was due to this that he dared to hand this life of his to Xiao Yang at such a time. Although this was partly due to the situation forcing his hand, it also required him to trust Xiao Yang. The words of Tian Huazunzhi became weaker. When the final word landed, his voice had completely scattered. Xiao Yang could vaguely sense the spirit within the white-colored ring become dim. Xiao Yang tightened his fist and gently exhaled a breath of air. He withdrew his hand that contained the ring into his sleeves before slowly lifting his head to study the crazy-looking protector Xian with a cold smile. This intervention by Tian Huazunzhi had basically given the latter a fatal blow. Not only was the fierce spirit captured, but protector Xian's spirit was also severely damaged. Even if he could leave this place alive this time around, his future strength would likely drop to the Dou Huang class. This was a feeling even worse than death for Protector Xian. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.